Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be continuing the Helium 10 video series, basically just going through all my favorite Helium 10 features. Today we're gonna to be covering magnet or magnet squared. I use this tool a lot. It's a great keyword research tool. If you've been following me recently, you know the importance of keyword research. If you haven't, please be sure to subscribe and let's try and get this video to 150 likes. I know you guys can do it. Now let's continue. So magnet or magnet squared is different from Cerebro. If you were here last time, you saw we went over Cerebro, reverse ASIN lookup. And what that does is you could go to any given Amazon market, find one of your main competitors, and then take their ASIN and put it in there and it'll actually show you all of the keywords they're indexing for. Now indexing, what does that mean? That basically means all the keywords that they're ranked for or showing up for. So this would be other words there. So let's take this little market, for example, dog party supplies, right? Um, out here in Seattle, I could see how this would be a popular product. People love their dogs. So we would, we would basically take this keyword phrase, right? We wouldn't take an ASIN, but we would take the keyword phrase. And now we would want to say, Hey, you know, great. Now these listings are doing okay. If we were to pull up x-ray here, we would see that, you know, we have this balloon pack is doing $10,000 a month at $9.99. So lots of sales there. We have, uh, you know, this little banner for $7.99, $6,000 dollars a month. So not only does that show the fact that you could sell a product for six, seven, eight dollars if you're getting it for a dollar, there's no, no issue there, right? So you could actually launch either one of those probably launched with less than $500. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. That just happens to get me excited. So let's go ahead and take, you know, dog party supplies and go type that into magnet. So you're literally just going to open up magnet and type in dog party supplies. If you don't have this tool already, I'll actually leave a link right in the description. You can get 10% off for life. Um, so it is a monthly subscription. You get 10% off just from using that link. So we will type in dog party supplies. All right, great. So it's just loaded up and we can see here under search volume, we have an exact search volume of 3064. That means that a hundred customers a day are searching dog party supplies into Amazon. That's phenomenal, right? We don't need 30,000 a month in search volume to figure that out. Now, what I would encourage you to do is at least this step, make sure that you're checking that what you're searching has search volume. I would say anything with about a 750 search volume up through several thousand is appropriate for a main keyword. Now let me show you some of my favorite parts of keyword research uh, magnet that I've never seen in a software before. First of all, let's just take a break and say there's 3000 filtered keywords. Now what does that mean? There's 3000 keywords related to dog party supplies um, that also have search volume that also products are competing for. So what we can do is we could come in here and let's say, I want to see keywords that have over 500 search volume per month, 500 customers search this into Amazon. Exactly. I want to see keywords that have a word count maximum of seven. So that's going to be your phrase count dog party supplies is three. And I want them to all be organic results, not sponsored. So we'll take that list of 3000. And now what we're going to get is this big list of keywords. You know, we went from 3000 to 50 related to dog party supplies that also have search volume. So check this out. We have, uh, let's see, dog birthday bandana actually has more search volume than dog party supplies. So think about that. If dog birthday bandana has 5000 customers per month, almost 200 customers a day looking for that specific product. And then we go search that on Amazon and there's only one or there's only 10 or even 15 compared to most markets that may have hundreds of sellers. We can easily introduce a new dog party bandana and collect even just a percentage of that market. But if we can do maybe a few, like a three pack or something, a dog, you know, party boy or party girl, whatever the dog is. And then like, best bud goes on like his, you know, the dog friend. I don't know how these things work, but you can see where I'm going with this. So we didn't even know that that was a market. So we actually turned a keyword research tool almost into a product research tool. And now 
it's something to think about when we're building our dog potty supplies, right? Maybe we don't want to just sell them by on their own, but we want to introduce them into our kit. And we would not have known that if we didn't use this tool. Okay, moving on, we have dog birthday treats. We probably won't sell anything that dogs eat. Dog treat molds. Um, that doesn't have anything specifically to do with the birthday, so I'd probably skip that. Dog birthday hat. 6,000 searches per month, right? So that's actually over 200 searches every single day. So now we know, okay, maybe our dog party supply kit should have dog birthday party hats, dog birthday bandanas, and then we would go from there. So puppy party supplies. So now all of a sudden we went from 3,000 searches at dog party supplies, and look at this, dog birthday party supplies has 6,000. So maybe collectively we're somewhere in the 20 to 30,000 searches per month range. I would reckon even probably more than that, just these here, just these two have over 10,000. Dog birthday hat and dog birthday bandana. So then we could say, okay, maybe we just bundle those together. Already you can see the wheels are turning here, and you can see how you can use customer search demand to change the direction that you were going to go with your product. This is something that I wanted to show you and introduce to you and make sure that you're doing this during your product research. Now, so many sellers are leaving keyword research for after they've picked their product, right? It's like as if it's only part of building a listing. Guys, this is actually fundamental to picking a product and knowing which way you should go with your product. Now, imagine if I came in and I said, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll target dog first birthday parties because maybe that has the most birthday parties. And say I wasn't doing any keyword research and I built my bundle around this and we just said that, you know, if we did something like a party hat and a party bandana, um, we already have just 10,000 search volume there. Guys, if I went in and I made a first birthday party because maybe I saw one other seller doing well with it, that only has 500 searches per month. Now, again, it's not nothing. Using this tool, we could have seen clearly there's far more customers to be captured in different areas of that market. Does that make sense? So one really cool thing, if you really wanted to get picky with this, one filter I will show you next, is maybe you will include phrases that contain the word party. And then we can get very, very specific here. So we're going from 3,000 to 50, and then 50 to 13. So now we see dog party hat, dog party supplies, dog party favors, puppy party supplies, dog birthday party supplies. Now, if we were to add all these up, again, we're probably somewhere close to 20, 25,000 uh, searches. So where we thought there was just 3,000 searches, now, oh my God, there's tens of thousands of searches for this and this is getting rid of a lot of the other um, searches not including anything you know if we change that to 200 still words we might want to target now look how many we have okay <laughs> dog party supplies birthday for girl dog puppy birthday party favors now we take a list like this and i don't know if you watch my ppc video but we go in and we strategically pick out keywords that are highly relevant to our product and then target those in an exact match or even a broad match to collect even more keyword PPC campaign, you could see how quickly this becomes a powerhouse of a tool. This, I'll be honest, is one of my most used pieces of software for Amazon. Keyword research is fundamental. Don't leave it as only part of listing creation. Make sure you're incorporating this in the front end of your product research because it may just show you or lead you to new markets altogether. All right, guys, we're going to stop here for today. That was Magnet by Helium 10. Um, go check that out if you don't have it already. Um, it's a really cool tool. I use it literally every day in my product research for my Amazon business. So I'm glad I got to show you how I like to use it, how I like to set up my filters, and how you can use this to take one key phrase and turn it into maybe a totally new market or use that knowledge and leverage it into a different way of crafting that product. If we could see exactly what customers want, what more could we ask for? Now we know exactly how to craft that product to meet those customers' needs and to appeal to the majority of the customers that are gonna be looking for this product. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks so much for sticking around. You can click the button to your right for a call with me. Watch another video right here, and you could also subscribe right here. So uh, thanks so much for giving me the opportunity to make this video. And as always, I'll see you next time. Later.